Welcome back to The, the Dickinson, Dickinson Adventures. Adventures. I'm Robbie. And I'm Tay. And we back, baby. Today we have a short video for you all about guineas as promised. Mm -hmm. Guineas are a low maintenance bird that you can purchase to help you get rid of ticks and all kinds of bugs in your garden. Yes. Uh, you don't have to really do much for them. Uh, they can roam your land and eat all of the bugs that are on your property. And as long as you provide them some sort of water source, they'll be all right. So you don't really have to enclose them because they fly. They're probably going to leave anyway. They don't leave. They come back. They do come back, but they will venture off a little bit. Uh, we also wanted to let you all know that if you're going to have guineas in your flock with chickens, they can be rather aggressive. They can attack the chickens sometimes, but they don't attack humans. So that's a good thing. And they are very good alarm systems. Mm -hmm. If you need to get up early in the morning, they will get you up along with your roosters. And they kind of like, uh, they're, I guess, free guardians of the land. They help you protect the land. They, they're they very scared animals. So every time something come close to them, around them, or anything like that, they are. Yeah. Until they can't see it no more. <laughs> okay? They're ugly little creatures. Yes. But they're pretty. Yeah, they do have like this prehistoric, like, horn thing on the top of their head. Mm -hmm. It does look kind of weird. <laughs> and they look like they were back in the um, Elizabethan time period with all that white makeup and paint on their face. I think that's lead. <laughs> the time period with the kings and queens. Ele Ele Queen Elizabeth Lily meant this. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, that's so... a name, right? Queen Elizabeth, I guess. Elizabeth, yeah, that's a, a Elizabethan period. Okay, what's yeah, it called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, so with these animals, if you get them, um, I would suggest to buy them when they're a little older. Uh, if you want to start them when they're chicks, that's cool. But we haven't started ours as chicks. We bought them when they were old enough to join the flock and go out and do their job. One thing you do when you get them, you do want to keep them in a cage for about a week or two. Oh, yeah. To make sure that they get um, attached or get used to your land and being at that yeah. property, knowing that that's their home and knowing that this is their area that they're going to be in. By the time you let them out after that, either they'll start coming back to that cage at night or they'll be up in the tree close to that cage right. or they'll be in that area where you first set them up at. Yeah. And that's where any bird, when you bring that onto your land, if they're big or if you're trying to introduce them to a flock, you leave them for about a week or two in a cage so they're not just mm -hmm. going to contaminate your flock or do right, anything to right. hurt your flock right away. Right. Well. What else did you, we have more stuff about guineas. We said they're ugly, right? <laughs> they're really a low maintenance bird. They're it's not really bird. much that you can say. It's either you love them, you don't, you want them. Oh, you don't. The more you have, the more um, noise. Sorry. The more noise. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but she did not tell you the benefits of them getting rid of ticks and snakes. every little bug that's around you yeah. in your immediate area. Snakes, they will keep them away mm -hmm. as much as possible. And that's why I said the more, the, the better chance that you have of having a clearer area um, of snakes and ticks and things that will really annoy you as, as you stay on your land. But the more you have, the more noise you're going to have. Right. And that's the only really downfall that to them. That is really the only downfall Except looking them. at them. They kind of is. They kind of are creepy looking. Mm -hmm. But they're fun animals. They like mirrors. They like yeah, to they see like shiny things. things. Yeah. Yes. If you pull up in your car and you have chrome on it, they're just going to stand by it and walk back and forth <laughs> the whole time. Um, and they are... Um, Pack creatures, not a pack, but what are they called? Flock creatures, flock, excuse yeah, me. They love to be in the they flock. They like to be in the flock. I yeah. mean, they can be alone, but they like to be in the flock. And mm -hmm. they're going to gravitate towards being in the flock. Yeah. Right. So, yes, they, they, I like them. I like them, too. They don't make too much noise for me. We have two of them here. We only we have, have two. two. Yeah. Uh, we have one dark one and one light one. Yes. We call it Pearl. Pearl. I thought her name was Sugar. Sugar, I'm sorry. They're called Pearl, maybe. They're called Pearl, <laughs> but she's a sugar. Her name we call is sugar. her Sugar, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
And the first one name is Thing One. Thing Two flew away. Yes, Thing Two flew away. That's why I said that they will fly away. And she never came back. She never came back. Yeah. <laughs> but but if that happens, don't be afraid. Because sometimes they the, the girls go out to have their babies. Right. And they want to be in a safe area. So mm -hmm. they go a little bit far away from you. But they always usually come back. Maybe something might have got time. to her. Mm -hmm. An animal or something with her babies. Maybe that's not why she came back. Maybe she just wanted to run off and not be with thing one no more. <laughs> Stuff happens. Maybe. He kind of rough. Yeah. kind of rough. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it for our Guinness. Now that's it for our Guinness. Yes, and we also want to always let you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have the red hair today. You don't know why. <laughs> we just had a murder mystery show. Mm -hmm. So for everybody who follows us, Duval the Musical, our murder mystery show was June the 26th. Mm -hmm. And we had a successful show. We had a lot happen with that show. So that's why we were gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're actually still working on that show. We have a few uh, film projects that we did as a spinoff to that stage play. Mm -hmm. So those will be available to view next month after they air in the two film festivals that we're entering in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. The LOL Jacks Film Festival mm -hmm. and the Jacks Next 100 Film Festival. Mm -hmm. We'll be in both of those. And we one of them hundred. <laughs> we definitely in the top, okay? In the top. We in the top. <laughs> Y'all see us, mm -hmm. the top. With going back and forth to the city with our production, mm -hmm. um, it kind of realized, helped us to realize that we need to focus back in on the homestead mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of things were looked over <laughs> because we had a lot to do in the city. And mind you, I still work a nine to five. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, not a nine to five, a seven to six. <laughs> yes, he still work a full time job. And then I'm still working on the homestead as I can and working on this show, our show, and Dinner Detective as well. And now trying to do our YouTube and eventually we need to put back up our podcast. Yes. We have a lot to do, y'all. So we've been and trying no time to get to it, do it And guess who's helping us? And God. <laughs> Yes, you know what though, seriously, good help is really hard to find. And we re-realized that uh, with doing our project in the city. Yes. So yeah, we'll be letting you all know a little more about that and definitely doing like more behind the scenes and talking about it. Um, because a lot of people want to get into the entertainment industry, but they don't really realize like how much work is really uh, needed. Yep. How much time you really have to put for? Yep. Uh, how many no's you have to hear? Yep. Yeah. How, how many, many butts you gotta kiss? Not kissing butts. I'm not. How doing many it. thousands of dollars you gotta spend with? Yeah. Because you don't kiss butts. You don't kiss butts. <laughs> how much money you have to spend? So we'll be sharing all of that, but we thank you all so much for sticking with us, uh, yes, sticking yes, around, yes. wanting to know what's going on with Dickinson Adventures. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know the fall time is coming up, so it's about traveling tour time for us again yes, yes yes so we're gonna have some great places listed for y'all a great lineup definitely going back to a few of those places that y'all really loved a few of those farms and homesteads mm -hmm. definitely yes, yes yes and if you want us to come to your homestead just put a comment or you can email us at dickinson adventures mm -hmm. at gmail.com anything else you want to say Speechless today. Speechless. Rare form. <laughs> now, I really want you guys to um, really get into looking at your own areas and growing your own spaces and doing mm. more for yourself. I'm not a big news person. I'm not a big follower of things, but it's always good to be prepared for whatever may come. Yeah. So you get prepared with extra rainy day funds. You prepare with extra gas. You prepare with other vehicles. Might as well be prepared with food and supplies that you Definitely. need to take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. And tuning in to the, the Dickinson, Dickinson Adventures. Adventures. We out of here. Peace, baby.